could you forget your own daughter's birthday? I didn't forget. I, I got out as soon as I could. You didn't even sign her card. Jen, you didn't give me the chance. I left it on your desk. How am I supposed to check my desk when I'm at work all day? You know I only check my desk over the weekend. How do you still have work over the weekend when you're always working so late? Or are you even at the office? Jen, where else would I be? Stumbling into the bar again. Don't, ever since your father put that idea in your head, you just- It's not just my dad, Tim. Even Mark is starting to get worried about you. Have you ever stopped to wonder why I go to the bar instead of coming to you? So you admit that you're going to the bar. Jen, don't change the subject you're on me. You're changing the subject. You're never around for Lizzie anymore. Never? Jen, how am I supposed to, be supposed to afford to put her through college? If you were pulling your weight, I wouldn't have to be at the office 12 hours a day. both in Mrs. Dolan's class. Sometimes she'd have us work as partners on projects. Your father was so annoying. He'd always throw paper airplanes in my hair. But one time, he gave me a special paper airplane that he wanted me to open. When I did, I saw he wrote on it, go out with me. I don't know what I was thinking, but I said yes. After that, it seemed like the whole world was brighter and happier. Remember your homework. It was like that one single question meant so much more. Something like a dream. That's what it was. It's going down now. Having them there made time seemingly halt. And that face, that was all I could focus on. And one day, many years after high school, your father took me to this house and he told me this could be. This could be our house one day. Really? After eight years, you're finally ready to settle down? Wow. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Jenny, will you marry me? Yes, yes, of course. I moved into this house, and two years later, we had you. Wow, that was a long story. Can I go see if Betty's still here? Lizzie, after we had you, Tim's parents died in a horrible car accident. He was never the same. He started drinking and coming home later and later. I tried everything to pull him out of it, but nothing worked. I loved him. I've always loved him. I feel like a widow most of the time when my husband's always down at the local pub. The only time I see him is when he comes home to get his wallet. I just want him home. It's so much to ask for a husband to be home. I have this dream where I'm with him, but I can't wait for that dream. And I know I'm going to have to leave him, because if I stay, I'm afraid of what could happen. Grandma, have you won yet? Checkmate. <gasps> no! Have you ever won? Do you remember a time when Mommy and Daddy were happy? Oh, of course, dear. Don't you remember that time we went to the country fair? Oh, yeah. Daddy won Mama the fair she gave me. Mm -hmm. I named him Teddy. Why don't you go find Teddy and play with him? <sighs> there was a time when Tim made my daughter happy, but even back then, I never quite liked him. I've been worrying about my Jenny for a while now. He is not what I would want for her. And she does all the work around the house. The cooking, the cleaning, and most importantly, taking care of Lizzie. Hey, I think I called your house instead of mine by accident. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. And oh look, there's my idiot son-in-law, Tim. I would say he doesn't even know a good thing if he was married to it. Worried about and unfortunately, he, he is married to it and doesn't even know it. Where are my keys? 
Reggie's. I swear if you didn't clean so much, I could actually find stuff in this rat's nest. A oh, rat's nest? Well, maybe if you weren't drinking all our money away and we're home more, this place wouldn't be such a rat's nest. Our money? I'm the one making the money, Jen. Maybe if you would go back to work or something. Really? I should go back to work? Someone needs to stay home and take care of Lizzie, Tim. Do you remember her? Our daughter? Did you call me, Mom? No, sweetheart. Go back outside and play. No, Tim. You don't get to decide how this goes. Do you see her? Having a father that's not really around affects a girl. Jen, I'm here. I've been here. You I'm... don't even get to talk. I want you to look into our daughter's face and justify why you aren't home. I'm sorry I put you through that. You can go outside and play now. Just tell me when Betty leaves. Mama, I love Daddy and all, but if he makes you unhappy, then give him a paper airplane that says, just go. Are you still seeing Daddy? Yeah, her and I just moved in together. <gasps> Yay! That's awesome. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really nice house in like, the urban area. Mm -hmm. Great. You better have a nice mailbox. How was your game, Mama? Oh, peaceful. Until I heard this one couple destroying their marriage. I personally believe God wanted them finished years ago. Honey, why don't you just leave him? He's a definition of an idiot. I know you don't like him, but can you not speak so badly of him? He is my husband, after all. Why are you defending him when all you ever do is fight? Mom, I have this dream where I'm with him. We'd stop fighting. We'd go out on the porch and watch Lizzie play. He'd take my hands in his. <sighs> We're finally happy. We're finally happy. And I can smile again. And I'm talking about my husband, at least. Sweetie, you don't want a drunk like Tim to be that way, though, do you, Jen? You could be so much happier with someone else. Someone that could be there and present for you and Lizzie. I don't know what I want anymore. I mean, we used to be happy. Oh, sweetie, I remember when you were happy. I remember he used to sweep you off your feet and carry you into the house. But he always treated your father and myself badly. So I wouldn't you think that he would treat you like that one day? I just always thought I'd be the one to get him out of his drinking problem. I think if he would try and quit, he could. But if he doesn't want to stop drinking for you, then why are you trying to stay with him? You should never settle for anything less than you deserve. She's still here. Yes, yeah, she's your mother-in-law. Have her over whenever I want. <sighs> it's time that I'll leave. There's a storm coming in. You don't need me as an umbrella. What's her problem? It's nothing. Good. The women are too confusing to listen to anyway. I'm crazy too, right? Talk louder, Jen. I can't hear you when you're mumbling. You know, other people think I'm crazy too. It's not just my mom. And why does that matter to me? Because I don't know if you've realized this, but I'm your wife. And they only think I'm crazy because I stay with you. And I'm done defending you when everything you do confirms everything they're saying is true. I tell them that you're going through a hard patch in your life and you'll come out of it. Tim, a hard patch does not last ten years. I've realized I can get rid of all of my problems. A messy house, sleepless nights, a messed up marriage, and a family that has lost faith in me because I have not yet left you. I wish I just got rid of you. Listen, your family doesn't have the rights to judge us in the first place. I mean, what do they know? Most of them are idiots anyway. Tim, you have no right to judge my family when as soon as you walk in a room, everyone loses 10 IQ points. Besides, at this point, they're the only ones around. The ones Lizzie goes to if she needs help. And all they ever see of you is when you walk into a room stumbling over every piece of furniture. And I guess that's just the person you are. I should have known that. That's all you are. Is 
bathroom. Do you remember a time where we wouldn't fight? Because I do. You'd lift me off my feet and I'd kiss you. I thought we were the perfect couple. And we knew that we'd love each other till the ends of the earth. But now that Tim is gone, and I don't know what happened, but I want him back. Jenny, I can be like that again. I swear I can. Haven't you realized by now you can't change? And I don't want you here anymore. Around me or Lizzie. What, what are you saying exactly? I'm saying that I want you out. I'm sick of your drinking habits and constantly waiting on something that'll never come through for me. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to Lizzie, would you? She already understands. She never really had a father anyway. Well, how are you going to support yourself? Well, I already have the house paid off, so I have some place to live. And I have a job interview lined up for next week. And oh yeah, I took your name off the bank account. <laughs> no, you can't do Tim, that. don't even talk. I've been planning on leaving you for a while now. It was just a matter of when. I kept trying to give you time to sober up. You wouldn't do it. Come on, Jen, just, just give me a second chance. I've given you all the second chances you're going to get from me. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm going to spend some time at a friend's house and you're going to calm down and send over a briefcase. Don't worry, your stuff will be on the front lawn by morning. you a story about a mama named Jenny, her daughter named Lizzie, and a daddy named Tim. One day the mama just needed to stop the yelling. I just miss her. It's like there's a hole in heaven. Suitcase. I just got a few more things in my car. Thanks. Hey, no problem. Mark. Yeah. Thanks so much for letting me stay, dude. No problem. I know Jenny wouldn't have thought of this, but I made sure to grab it from the house before I left. <laughs> 